Ayers will put it in the air with Baycott and Williams. And Williams slapped it into the backcourt window. Moore couldn't run it down. And Duke, who tonight with a win, can pass Dean Smith on another list. Here is Baycott down the lane for the dunk. I thought the first basket would be a dunk, but I actually thought it was going to be Dukes. Jacked up right now. You're going to have to move the ball. Everybody get a touch. Get a good sweat going. They get the clock set. The shot clock as well at 18. Here is Keels, who had a big night the other night. And Williams almost touched it. But Trevor Keels' his first shot on the driving layup. Love to work off the Baycott screen. Quick entry pass. Baycott up strong. Scores. I mean, you can't catch it any deeper than that. That is excellent work by Baycott off the ball. Black has shown some offensive punch late in the campaign. Here's Mannix's first try, and it's good. Brady Mannix hit 42% from behind the line, Debbie, in the last four games. And everybody settle in. Theo John had two points, three rebounds on the win Tuesday night at Pittsburgh. He'll get the clean up here for his first points tonight. Roach has been coming off the bench the last six games. He's hit three in double figures, though. Four minutes in. Carolina five-point lead and make it seven on the drive by Davis. The transition defense doesn't find Brady Maddox. He makes them pay, and then the great good start. Armando Baycott, one foul about three minutes into the game, and Hubert Davis has him on the bench. Does not want to lose him early tonight, like he did a month ago in Chapel Hill. Boy, and Johnson giving up a lot of size in the matchup with Theo John. Johnson goes flying. Roach goes driving, and he finishes. Carolina comes in 22 and 8, 14 and 5 in the league as John swaps it out of bounds. For the pandemic, how do you tune out this noise, which even by Cameron's standards is extreme? Carolina, the seventh man in their thin rotation. Bancaro. Bancaro! And Leaky Black did a nice job. Black to the ball. And they're missing Baycott right now. Davis. Another strong drive, R.J. Davis again. Well, R.J. Davis is basically a point guard that can really shoot it. You know, he's hit 54 threes on this season, but can really handle the ball and can really drive it. And Carroll driving on Black, scores again. Take him out on the perimeter, make the closeout longer, but he's got to drive Leaky Black. Davis with a big on him, and Theo John, and goes around him, and that's the third field goal of the night already for R.J. Davis. Baycott getting ready to check in, but the media timeout will hit first. Roach left hand, soft off the glass. Now you were all, I mean, you were recruited by so many schools, and you're being very humble here. You were the, uh, the player of the year, as good a player as there was in the state of California. Cameron turning to Cameron, and he thought it was kind of about your senior year. Does that jive with what you think? Yes. Yeah. What a great play and a great transition outlet by Theo John. Looking for what would be by far their most significant win of the season. If they can pull it off, and again, you would think they are safe, but this would certainly lock it up. What a start for R.J. Davis. If Mark Williams doesn't help on the ball, then Baycott rolls to the basket. If he helps on the ball, Baycott rolls to the basket. If he doesn't, R.J. Davis goes. Good luck. Heels in transition. Moore for three. You have to complete your defensive possession by grabbing a rebound, especially if it's a long one, but that could start your offense. Nice drive there by Puff Johnson, the younger brother of former Tar Heel. Carolina fortunate there that Keels couldn't finish that one. Man, a quick release on the three. His second three-pointer of the game. Boy, he sees Duke Blue. So you're missing that many shots. The defense can have a big advantage going after the ball. Van Caro for three. And Justin McCoy, a Raleigh native, the transfer from Virginia, who has been dealing with a sore knee, has not played in five games as Williams lays it in to tie it. Mark Williams is the best shot blocker in the ACC. And a finalist for National Defensive Player of the Year. First points of the night for A.J. Griffin, and Duke has the lead. Carolina's plus six when Baycott's on the floor, minus eight when he's not. Vancaro sizing up McCoy. Spins. And lays it in. Well, just too tough of a shot for Caleb Lawrence. Griffin for three. Timeout, Carolina. And 
Jay Will will join the guys as well. Our guy Jay Will, former Blue Devil, of course, Jay Will, he'll join the guys to let them know what it's been like to be here sitting in the seats watching this during the first half as Van Carroll adds to the lead. Nice. USC UCLA coming up at 10 o'clock tonight here on ESPN. And there's Baycott doing what he does best, getting on the offensive glass and converting. Fortunate he didn't pick up another foul. Love for three. His first field goal of the night. He's got seven points overall. And let's see if Ben Carroll goes right out. Go with that 5 4 ball screen. Got a switch. Spinning on Matt. And finishes strong. Eight by six right now. Williams wide open. Not a thing Manic could do about that. It's that high low action. Black with a drive and a kick. A great look for Manic and he buries it. Would have liked to have seen him get to the basket rather than settle for the pull up. Davis launches a three and hits it. What a big shot for Carolina. He doesn't miss many of those. Black has it knocked away by Moore. Baycott spinning through traffic and ties the game. How did he make that shot? He's in the restricted area. If he tried to take a charge, it would have definitely been a foul. Heels doesn't get the bounce. Tipped up and in by Williams. Baycott had the rebound in his finger. Talk about wingspan. 7-1 guy with a 7-7 wingspan. Duke by two. If it was 7-6, he couldn't have gotten that play. What a pass. Davis, a little bit too strong, Bancaro the rebound. And it's 6'10", 250, going coast to coast! Made him give it up. Now Williams. Yes. For a smart play by Bancaro. Or try to look into the post and go against Armando Bacon. And then if they kick it out, you got an open three, good for you. Open three, Keels, yes! Holly, thank you. I think for a lot of people, they know Mike Krzyzewski only as the coach at Duke. But of course, Jay, he played at Army, he served at Army, was a captain. Davis, bounce pass, and the finish by Baycott. What a play by R.J. Davis. Just a great ball screen by Armando Baycott. Leo John can be more physical with Armando Baycott. A different kind of big guy than Mark Williams. Roach using the screen. And it'll go. Soft touch on the runner. Just couldn't turn the corner on Caleb Love. There's that middle ball screen and roll. And Baycott converts. Manning, blocked by John. Bancaro finishes. Boy, what a sequence that was. Big time block up top. Contact or not. And if possible, it just got a little bit noisier here with the Cameron, but Love will quiet the crowd for a moment. Leaky Black on A.J. Griffin. Love the steal. And it'll go to make it a two-point game. Well, North Carolina getting an easy basket off its defense. Carolina was so physical on that inbound. A.J. Griffin with a rejection on Love. Mark Williams at the other end. He's got to take on Baycott here. He's saying, get out of the way. Good help by R.J. Davis. That leaves Keels open, though, and he drills it. This Duke team can pass out of it. Then he got a longer closeout up to a good shooter. Love is heating up. This is similar to the Monday game against Syracuse when he couldn't buy one. Baycott takes it away, knocks it away from Moore. Here's Davis just barreling his way through traffic, and Carolina has tied it. And even late in the first half in this one, at times when Baycott was on the bench, Duke got it out to an 11-point lead at one point. Baycott and Carolina does have the lead. And Carolina doing a nice job switching those screens. Oftentimes you can give up an easy one when you don't switch properly. Heels up top to Williams for the finish. As we go down the stretch. Manic with a great look. Nice play by Caleb Love. Carolina leads by five. And then popped out for the three. Great execution in the middle of the floor. What a pass. Van Carroll to Williams. Well, you come over to double, and Van Carroll can pass out of it. 
Again, the ball screen. Davis with a floater, and he's got 16, the lead back to five. And he can really drive it. He has pull-up ability, but that was great poise to read that and not overdo it. And Carroll. Caleb Love and Leaky Black have each sat for just two minutes. Davis, boy, they leave him wide open, and he makes them pay. And all of a sudden, the ball handler's wide open. Carolina's been so good with R.J. Davis doing the primary ball handling duties. He's got 19. Roach for Duke, and it rattles in. Leaky Black baseline scoops it up and in. They got a matchup here with Jeremy Roach on Baycott. They can't get it to him. Now Davis driving on Van Carroll. Oh. Two more for R.J. Davis. But still, it wasn't an easy little shot in the lane. Boy, big possession here for North Carolina. Love to Manic for two. Little Euro step past the defender and a drop off. He's going to look to drive this. Baycott stays down. The kick to Moore for three. He's gotten it big time. There's that middle ball screen, now a switch. Davis taking on Bancaro. Manic gets it off. And wow. hits it. Davis gets around Bancaro. Throws it by Baycott. It's loose. And it belongs to the Blue Devils. Griffin blocked by Baycott. Wow, what a block with the left hand. Davis, who as you said, has had a magnificent night. Love with a deep three. Tipped by Baycott. Followed by Black. And remember, this is a, an excellent free throw shooting team. Wow, Love with a beautiful find to Baycott. What a moment, too, for Hubert Davis in his first year as head coach of the program. After experiencing so many of these games as a player and an assistant coach. In this game for the Tar Heels to be able to win it. Yeah, Duke had a nine-point lead and Baycock was on the bench. And then Carolina made it close at the half. The final seconds will tick away. And the North Carolina Tar Heels come into Cameron Indoor Stadium. On Mike Krzyzewski's final night coaching in this arena. And they hand the Blue Devils a loss.